Hello students, in this video lecture, I'm going to explain to you what do you mean by a Boolean homomorphism. So if uh, you are given two Boolean algebras, uh, B1 and B2, and because B1 is a Boolean algebra, so there will be operations uh, join and meet in it. Then there will be an operation of complementation. Then there will be a 0, there will be a 1. So suppose B1 is a Boolean algebra and B2 is another Boolean algebra with the operations join, meet, uh, complementation, 0 and 1. Now, although uh, these uh, operations uh, and zeros and ones of B1 and B2 are uh, looking alike, uh, but the notation used here is uh, similar, but uh, otherwise uh, uh, it depends on the context. What is the join in uh, these two? What is the meet in these two? That depends on the context we are in. So let us suppose that we are dealing with two Boolean algebras, B1 and B2. And let us suppose there is a map F mapping from B1 to B2. Then the question is, when is F said to be a Boolean homomorphism? The map F mapping from B1 to B2 is said to be a Boolean homomorphism. If F satisfies three uh, conditions, F must be join preserving, F must be meet preserving, and F must be complement preserving, which means uh, uh, F, F, which means that when we say that F is join preserving and meet preserving, then it simply means that F must be a lattice homomorphism, uh, which means when I say that it is join preserving, it simply means that I'm saying that uh, if you take f of a join b, then f of a join b is equal to f a join f b, where a and b are uh, two elements, uh, any two elements of the Boolean algebra b1. When I say that the map f is meet preserving, it simply means that f a meet b, uh, this is equal to uh, uh, f a meet b, this is equal to f a meet f b where uh, A and B again are elements of the Boolean algebra and uh, F uh, is uh, complement preserving. This means that uh, if I take F of A dash, then F of A dash is equal to F A dash, which means uh, where, uh, of course, A is an element uh, belonging to uh, B1. So, which means that the image of the uh, complement uh, is the complement of image. So, image of complement is the complement of the image. So, this is the third condition that must be satisfied uh, for F to be a Boolean homomorphism. So these are the three conditions uh, that must be uh, satisfied for F to be a Boolean homomorphism. F must be join preserving, it must be meet preserving and it must be complement uh, uh, preserving. And uh, again, uh, a few uh, things that have to be noted in this regard are, the first thing is that uh, if you have a 1-1, one, one, if, if f is a map from b1 to b2, where b1 and b2, of course, are two Boolean algebras, and if f is a Boolean homomorphism, but besides that, it is also 1-1 one, one and it is on 2, in that case, f is said to be a, uh, a Boolean isomorphism. So this is the name, Boolean isomorphism. And in that case, um, we, ex we express this fact uh, by writing like this, that b1 is isomorphic to b2. If uh, uh, F is a Boolean isomorphism. Also, another thing uh, which has to be uh, noted over here is that uh, if you have uh, that uh, F uh, mapping from B1 to B2, if uh, this is a Boolean homomorphism, but uh, besides being a Boolean homomorphism, it is 1-1, one, one, just 1-1, one, one, uh, not uh, onto. In that case, it is called a Boolean monomorphism. So this is the name that we give to it, Boolean monomorphism. So these are uh, the few things which uh, uh, one should know when one uh, uh, talks about Boolean homomorphism or a Boolean uh, isomorphism or a, a Boolean monomorphism. Now a few results uh, which uh, I want to state without uh, proof which, should, uh, which uh, you should know uh, for a Boolean uh, uh, homomorphism are uh, the first thing is that if b1 and b2 are two boolean algebras and if f uh, is a boolean homomorphism from b1 to b2 then the first result is that a boolean homomorphism always maps the zero of b1 to the zero of b2 which means that f of zero is equal to zero this is one thing also a boolean homomorphism maps the one of b1 to the one of b2 which means that f of one will be equal to one so this zero is uh, in b1 and this 0 is in B2, this 1 is in B1, and this 1 is in B2. So this is the first thing. The second thing which one can easily prove uh, is that uh, that for this particular Boolean homomorphism, if uh, we pick up uh, X and Y to be two elements of B1, uh, so if X and Y are two elements of uh, 
v1 such that uh, x is uh, related to y then this would imply that their images would also be related which means uh, that fx would be related to fy so this is uh, another uh, result which we have and then the third thing is that uh, if uh, uh, b1 uh, here as we have taken to be a boolean algebra then if you take the image of b1 which is fb1 which is of course a subset of b2 then the image of uh, uh, b1 under the map uh, f this is also a boolean algebra so the image of a image of a boolean algebra under a boolean homomorphism that is also a boolean algebra so this is the result and in fact this particular boolean algebra is called the boolean sub algebra of b2 because it is a subset of b2 so these were the uh, results uh, which can be easily proved and which one should remember when one is discussing boolean homomorphisms